What's up guys, this is a uh, figure comparison re reveal on the, the official NECA Rio Hayabusa and the bootleg NECA Rio Hayabusa. Um, there are some similarities between the two, but you can spot out the difference easily. Now, even though I said this is the official one, I'm actually not 100% clear. But judging off the, the paint apps, the, the packaging, as well as the articulation and the accessories, this is pretty much as legitimate as you could possibly get in the year 2021. So before I talk about the figure, I'm going to talk about the packaging. So a while back, we got the, um, two, or I'll say one package. In this case, you got the clamshell packaging, which is right here. <laughs> Excuse me. And then we got the, the card packaging right here. Now, when it comes to the the claim the clam packaging, if you were to order it on eBay or another a third party website, it's gonna be hard to tell if this is gonna be legitimate or not um just because the uh, the official version they have released it in the clamshell but nowadays online they'll just show the figure in the clamshell with official images and then as soon as you get it you get a bootleg so to be safe you want to look for a card back or yeah paper back um packaging because they have not released a bootleg, um, as far as I know, in a card back packaging. So, majority of the time, be wary if you get a clamshell, it's going to be a bootleg. If you get a card back, then you will pretty much be safe. Majority of the time, don't, I mean, I'm not going to guarantee that. Um, so, even though the back of it, does look different from these two. Um, the clamshell will have this look and the paper card has this look. So you can't really tell by the format because the official one may look exactly like this, just that the figure is different. So back to the side. Now, as far as accessories, you get Tonfa, uh, Dragon Sword, and a set of hands. So as far as I know, the bootleg and then the official ones, they look pretty similar. This one looks like a more opaque, clearer plastic or smoky gray, while the bootleg is all black. The hands, now the hands will be a biggest indication. So on the bootleg, I'm not sure you can see it. On the bootleg, the nail is going to be painted gray. And then on the official one, it's going to be um, skin color. So bootleg, the official one. The official one will have a shiny gloss and gloves and then a matte finish on the guard. While the bootleg, everything is pretty much a dull uh, matte finish right here. Another set of hands right here. Again, official one, shiny black for the hands and more of a matte finish on the guards. While the bootleg, everything is pretty much a matte or no shine donus. Okay, now let's compare the Dragon Sword. So, and I'm gonna be very careful. Um, despite of a bootleg or official, the Dragon Sword is a pretty fragile. I did end up breaking the bootleg here, and this is the official one here. The main reason why I'm questionable if the official one that I have is a bootleg because there are some mishaps with the paint, but then it's very common with most NECA figures. So when comparing the two Dragon Sword bootleg, the official, the official one is look more cleaner, while the, the bootleg is more messier. And also an indication is the, whatever reason, the bootleg has a spear stamp right here, 
but when it comes to the official one, it does not have that. Okay, so put the sword aside. So here we go. Mix and match. So again, this is the official one. This is the bootleg. Now, because the bootleg, the skin color is more doughish, and then this one is more of an actual skin color, a warm color, or this is like a kind of like a muddy color. Now, when I first got the bootleg version, uh, the eyes were cockeyed, so basically I have like one dot per eye, looking at the opposite direction. It did come with a scarf, but I took it off for custom. As far as the official one. Eyes are gonna be very nicely painted. Sorry, let me get the focus. So you will see there's like an olive green, the black people, and then the white reflection here. As far as articulation, majority is the same. Joints is pretty much similar. Uh, when it comes to the bootleg here, when it comes to the hand joints, they easily broke off. So this was I don't interchange them at all. Um, and then you can also tell by the pegs. So this is the bootleg right here. It has like a dumbbell um, joint right here. As this one is more of a uniform cylinder. So for the bootleg, you have a chance of breaking the hands when trying to switch them out. And as far as the original, I mean, I took them out and they're perfectly fine but again you know with NECA figure you just got to be careful this here you know I mean, you could take it out and then you could swap it out so right here and then you just twist and push in I mean when it comes to these NECAs you got to be very careful with them um, especially the older model just because the plastic may be more fragile due to um, time Okay So as far as articulation, they're pretty much are the same, but uh, I'll just go with the the official one here. So Head can look up This much including the neck articulation you can look down with the neck articulation here Shoulder right here. It could t-pose about This much Of course you got your 360 rotation here Biceps over here, double bend at the elbow. So again, with NECA, you just gotta be very careful. Okay, so I'm gonna say this is a single joint. I just don't wanna risk it, so let's try on the bootleg. So the bootleg, it could bend to this much. So again, I'm not gonna risk it. Uh, later on, I'm going to heat up the plastic, but articulation should be the same. We've got um, ball hips with the hinge, so it'll allow it to do the splits this much. And then you just have to rotate the, the ball joint. So here, rotate it, right? And then rotate the thigh in position. Sorry about that. And then basically you got to hold the little ball right here. Put it in position. And then that will allow to kick up this much. And then back. Same thing. Just be very careful. Back that much. Of course you have your die swivel here. No boot swivel, and then you have double bend at the knee, so you can touch his butt almost. You got the ankle swivel here, a little bit of a pivot here, a little bit of a pivot here, and then you got toe hinge, got waist swivel here, 360 here. Ab crunch to go forward about this much and then back. Um, be careful with the scalper right here. But if you push that back here, it could pretty much can go about 
Mm, let me do the bootleg. So back about this much, so not too far. And I'm gonna test the double banded elbow very carefully. Again, I don't wanna break it, but so. Okay, so here, let's carefully bend it. I get you probably warming up hot water. Uh, just kind of carefully bend, bend, bend. Okay, so it can bend. Just be very careful. I mean, you don't want to break this figure. I mean, not because of the pricing, which they're hard to find on a good price. I got this, I got this one for eBay, like thirty something dollars. And about the bootleg for thirty something dollars. So I'm not saying that you can't find a official one or close to official one for a good price. You just got to be very careful on um, into details. Um, again, the best indication to find a official figure is the skin color. Make sure the fingernails are not gray. Paint apps. The eyes. Now the eyes are very important. Look for like. The actual human looking eyes instead of the cock out eyes um what else the card back is most likely the official one but the clamshell is uh you have a chance of having a bootleg all right so that being said let's do a little size comparison I'm, I, it stands right about a little bit above seven or if not seven size comparison here with the bootleg i mean same pretty much the same height so there's that here's a uh, mcfarlane mk11 sub-zero so these guys stand about the same height so you could definitely put them in the same universe and then here's a um, Ryu Hayabusa custom that I made based on the articulated icon ninja um, Of course this won't scale well this one is more fitting for SH figure art or a Marvel legend line this this guy's about 5.5 um, inches while this guy's about seven so And this is why this is where I get the scar from the bootleg so That's about it um, Again, this is the official one compared to the the bootleg. I mean, we can't find a you know official one. A bootleg is fine. I mean, just customize the eyes. I just white it out. This is because it's easier. But for the most part, articulation is good. You could probably find this figure for about you know twenty or thirty dollars max. But I mean, it's it's a good figure. I mean, you can move around you know, pretty good here, here, here. Double bend here. Elbow here, here. Uh, just that the hands are questionable so when it comes to switching out. The sword is questionable. It could break easily, but for the most part, for a bootleg, I mean, it's just not bad. So, thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned. Like, share, subscribe. And have a good day.